Welcome to Fitness Fridays. Let's get physical, physical. I wanna get physical. Let's get into physical. What? This is not what I'm talking about. Don't forget to click that like and subscribe button down below so you don't miss any of our future content and especially don't forget to hit that notification bell if you want to join in on our Fitness Fridays Weekly. So Fitness Friday, if you guys don't know, I just had a baby and I have been having some lack of motivation to get my body back, but I've also been having the little bit of the blues of having my baby body. I wanted to start this Friday fitness challenge to help encourage you and me to work together to improve our health with small fitness goals that are done weekly. Yes, weekly, seven days. You can do anything for seven days. It's not that hard and these are not big, huge, crazy goals. These are simple, small, easy goals to obtain. They're just steps in helping us make a healthier life. And so I wanted to know if you guys wanted to join me in this journey. If you do, please like down below so that I know that this is content that you want to keep watching and things that you want me to keep doing. So first to start off, I am not a medical professional, um, but I did study health and human performance in college. I am currently a track coach and trainer for a local high school, and I did my own weight loss journey where I lost 30 pounds in 12 weeks two years ago. So I have done a lot of the steps and have a lot of knowledge on how to live a healthy lifestyle and to work out and how to treat your body well. Because I like to help people, I like to share the tips that I have learned. So that is what this Friday Fitness Day is going to be. After this first vlog, I will be doing a live vlog every Friday to introduce our new weekly goal and to talk with you guys and see how your week went with the goal that we had previously. So it'll be kind of like a mini training session to see how you guys are doing, what motivated you, what you had a hard time with, and how I can help you guys do better in the future. Also, I'd love to hear if you guys have some areas that you would like to know about. I have a lot of knowledge in a bunch of different areas of fitness, but it's kind of easier for me to know what you guys want to work on so that I can help you with that. Our first Friday fitness challenge is actually water. Your body is made up of 60% water. I don't know if you guys knew that, but 60%, 60% is a lot of water. And if you are not getting hydrated well enough, it can affect your skin, it can affect your growth, it can affect your weight, it can affect a ton of different things in your body. So one, I wanna make sure that you're getting enough water, but two, I need to teach you how to calculate how to get that water intake that you need. I can't give everybody the same goal. I can't say you need to drink 100 ounces every day. That doesn't work. What you really need to do is take your weight and divide it in half. That is your base starting point. That is how much water your body needs at the very minimum level to stay hydrated. So if you weigh 150 pounds, divide that in half and it is 75 pounds. So you need 75 ounces of water a day at the base bare minimum. Now, a lot of other things affect how much water intake that you need like your lifestyle. If you sit in an office desk all day, you don't need as much water because you're not exerting that water and sweating. But if you're working out, you actually need to add 12 ounces of water for every 30 minutes of exercise that you're doing. <laughs> for instance, if I needed 100 ounces of water a day and then I worked out for 60 minutes every day, then I would need to add 24 ounces of water to my intake on those days that I'm working out. So I need 124 ounces of water that day. Now I wanna give you a couple of tips that help me in drinking water regularly. So my go-to for hydration is already water. I drink a lot of water and because I drink a lot of water, I have a few tips to help you guys in making sure that you're getting enough. Tip number one is to keep a water bottle with you. This way, you always have your water next to you. If you're thirsty, you can always drink it whenever but also you know exactly how much water you are taking in. Zane is really excited about this, by the way. My second tip is to keep a cup next to wherever you get your water from. For me, I get my water from our refrigerator, so I put a cup up on the top of the refrigerator so that every time I walk by, I can just get it drink really quick. And my third tip is to drink water before you're thirsty. The old adage about this is, is that 
If you are waiting until you are thirsty to drink water, your body is already craving that water that, and you're already dehydrated. So you need to be drinking water before you're actually thirsty. That is why this water bottle is such a good tip because you can take it with you wherever you go and just sip on it regularly throughout the day. And that's it, you guys. This is our first fitness challenge. Like I said, it's not about a big, 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 huge challenge. It's about something simple that you can either change in your life or you can add to your current lifestyle to help you become a little bit healthier. So I'm really excited to share this journey with you guys and see how we do in getting fit. Now, if you want to make sure that you don't miss out on any of the live shows, then don't forget to click that notification bell and subscribe so that you get notified every time that I put up a new live show. Thank you guys so much for watching, and we will see you again next time. Bye.